Hello and welcome to HITC Sport and today we're looking at loan moves and the weirdest places your players have been during their career. Whether it was to a faraway country or even the club they play for now, some loan moves just don't make sense. But no matter what, these loan deals will make a lot more sense than Tiger King on Netflix. I mean, what on earth have I just watched? It begged more questions than answers. Bloody Carol Baskin. Arsenal Reese Nelson to Hoffenheim. When Jadon Sancho went to Dortmund, he started a trend. German clubs now wanted young British players with the idea that they could quickly turn them into stars rather than just watching them labour in the English reserves. So Hoffenheim tried to copy Dortmund and sign an English winger on loan in 2018. Reese Nelson headed to the Bundesliga and he was actually great, scoring 7 times in 23 games. But it didn't further his career as he still barely had a kick back at the Emirates since returning. Aston Villa yacht at Real Madrid Villa signed the Spanish attacker last summer but he's already had quite the career back in Spain. He was once a Celta Vigo player, but in 2012 he was sent out on loan for the first time, joining Real Madrid. Well, kind of. He joined Real Madrid Castilla, the reserve side who were competing in the second tier of Spanish football. If he got her impressed there, maybe he'd get a move to the first team. But that didn't happen. He made three appearances before joining Ibar the following year, then in 2014 he got his chance in England with Brentford. Bournemouth, Josh King to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Considering he used to be Man United as a kid, You'd expect King to have some weird loan moves. He did have one, heading to Germany in 2011. Having been oppressed in the year before in the championship, King was set for a chance in a major European league, joining Borussia Mönchengladbach for a year. But things didn't go to plan, unfortunately. King played just 19 minutes in the Bundesliga before a recurrence of a groin injury prematurely ended his loan spell. Brighton, Matthew Ryan to Genk. In 2015, Matty Ryan joined a major European club in Valencia, having arrived from Club Bruges in Belgium. But after a year and a half, Ryan was on his way back to Belgium, weirdly, this time for Genk. He would never play for Valencia again, joining Brighton in the summer of 2017 following his return from Genk. This one wasn't massively weird, it's just strange he'd have to head back to Belgium and make his name once again. Anyway, moving on. Burnley, Joe Hart to Torino. At a time when English players didn't go abroad, Joe Hart joining Torino on loan was a huge shock to the system. His Manchester City career was on the ropes following the arrival of Pep Guardiola and Hart decided to head to Italy to become the first English goalkeeper to play there in the history of the division. He got a hero's welcome in Turin, but that wasn't how he left. He played 36 Serie A games for Torino but didn't do enough to earn a permanent move, joining West Ham the following season. Chelsea, Jorginho to San Bonifacese Chelsea are the kings of the loan move, although a lot of their players don't go to weird places. I mean, Vitesse doesn't really count considering they're Chelsea's feeder club. So we're actually going to look at Jorginho, who joined a team I'd never heard of back when he was a kid. The midfielder started his career at Verona, and in 2010 at the age of 18 he would try his hand in the fourth tier of Italian football, which is pretty low for a man of his eventual class. The club was San Bonifacese, and he would score once and provide 10 assists during his time there, which is pretty good going. Crystal Palace, Scott Dan to Coach BK. So Scott Dan is a man who climbed the divisions, starting his career at Walsall where he would play in both League 1 and League 2. He's had a great rise, but how much did a low move to Denmark aid his development? In 2005, having impressed for the reserves, Dan was forced to pack his bags and head abroad, joining Coach BK in Denmark, the same club where Danish legend John Dahl Thomason started his career. On his return, Dan's next move would be to non-league, which maybe suggests the move to Denmark wasn't a massive success. Everton, Umar Nias to Bran. An Everton flop if ever there was one, Umar Nias' career got off to a pretty ropey start. He was a goal-scoring machine back in his native Senegal, scoring more than 100 goals for Ukam. But in 2012 he was plotting a move to Europe and managed to get himself a loan deal with Bran in Norway. But sadly for Nias, it didn't go to plan. He only played three games for the club, meaning he didn't get the permanent move he needed. But fortunately for him, a Turkish club signed him in 2013 and his European adventure began. Leicester City, Ricardo Pereira to Nice Considering how good Pereira is for Leicester, you'd think his portal career was a lot more successful. But actually, he spent two years away from the Estadio de Drago, joining Nice in 2015 on a two-year loan deal. So it was really France where the flying fullback cut his teeth, impressing in league 1 and finishing 3rd and 4th. So maybe Leicester fans should be thanking Nice for developing Pereira rather than Porto. Liverpool, Fabinho to Real Madrid We've already had one loan move to Real Madrid, but this one was even more odd. Back in 2012, Fabinho would leave Brazil for the first time, joining Rio Ave on a 6 year deal. 
but after just a month he would leave, joining the Real Madrid B team on loan, despite not playing a single senior minute of football in his career so far. He would feature a lot more than the aforementioned Yotta and actually got in the first team, playing one game for Real Madrid, coming off the bench for 14 minutes in a 6-2 win over Malaga, where he actually got himself an assist. Manchester City, Nicolas Otamendi to Atletico Mineiro. For these South American players who get a move to Europe, you expect they won't go back to their native continent until later in their career. But not Otamendi, he was back in South America in no time. Having impressed at Porto, Valencia snapped up the defender in January 2014, but he was immediately sent out on loan. And rather than sending him to a Spanish club, Otamendi headed to Brazil to play for Atletico Mineiro. Surely there's more to this than meets the eye. Were there work permit problems? Who knows? Manchester United, Chris Smalling to Roma. When we were looking at the current Manchester United squad, we just couldn't ignore a loan deal that was completed last summer and is still taking place. Chris Smalling's Manchester United career was on a slippery slope, going from England's next big thing to a laughingstock alongside Phil Jones. But while Jones is yet to give his career a lift, Smalling is a new man. He would join Roma last summer and he's been playing like peak Maldini out in Italy. Okay, maybe that's a stretch, but still. The deal was weird at the time and the fact it's gone so well is even weirder. Newcastle United, Alan St. Maximan to Hanover. It's fair to say everyone loves Alan St. Maximan since he became a magpie, but did you know he actually once played in Germany? At the age of 18, the winger would sign for Monaco as they looked to pluck all the best young talent France had to offer. But as soon as St. Maximan arrived, he was sent out on loan to the Bundesliga, joining Hanover where he played 18 games in all competitions and scored the first senior goal of his career. Norwich City, Todd Cantwell to Fortuna Sittard. Norwich's biggest success of the season who isn't called Timu Puki, Todd Cantwell has had a season to remember, even if Norwich might end up being relegated back to the championship. But Cantwell has proven he can hang in the top flight, but how much of that is down to his one and only loan spell away from England? Cantwell played for Fortuna Sittard in 2018, just weeks after making his senior debut for Norwich. There's nothing else to say here really, it was just a bit weird wasn't it? Sheffield United, George Baldock to IBV. The man who inspired this video, I was looking at George Baldock's career, because what else is there to do during lockdown, and noticed that the Sheffield United man once played some football over in Iceland, and that's not the shop that you should not be panic buying in, don't do it. But back when Baldock was an MK Dons player, he was sent out and launched six times, and one time was to play in Iceland for IBV in 2012. It seemed like he had a great time over there, he scored his first senior goal, got booked loads and got to play in the Europa League. Southampton, Josh Sims to New York Red Bulls. I think this deal says a lot about Southampton's current youth setup. They used to have loads of players coming through, but they're few and far between nowadays. Josh Sims looked like he was going to be a star, really impressing on his Saints debut, but nowadays he's on loan in the MLS, widely considered a retirement league by many, not me but many others. Hello viewers in the United States of America, I hope you're all well. Tottenham Hotspur, Toby Alderweireld. We've just mentioned Southampton, and the time they got Toby Alderweireld on loan was an odd one. The Belgian defender was at Atletico Madrid, a club notorious for their defending, yet they let one of their best talents head out on loan at the Premier League, only be playing so well that they would get a permanent move to England by joining Spurs. But then again, do Atletico care? They've had so many great centre-backs through the years, there probably wasn't room for good old Toby. Isn't Toby a nice name by the way? It makes him sound like a nice cute dog. Watford, Andrea Great or Luton. Usually when you go out on loan, you go to a team that is considered worse or lower down in the leagues. So that's why Andrea Gray's low move to Luton Town looks odd to me. In 2011, Gray was a non-league player representing Hinkley United in the Conference North, and that season he would go out on loan, moving up a division to Conference Premier with Luton Town. I mean, why wasn't he at a high level already? Anyway, Gray was so good for Luton that they signed him permanently, and he would ultimately jump to the Championship with Brentford, having proven of Luton that he was way too good to be in non-league. West Ham United, Manuel Lanzini to West Ham United. At the time, this was a really weird loan move for West Ham, but it's one that paid dividends. Manuel Lanzini is a cracking little player, so why was he playing his football in Abu Dhabi a few years ago? Heads turned when he arrived at West Ham, as no one had heard of Lanzini, and expectations weren't very high considering the league he was coming from. But he proved us all wrong, and hopefully one day Lanzini gets back to the player he once was in a West Ham shirt. And finally, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Ming Yang Yang to FC Yumiya. Our final loan move of the video, hands up if you've heard of Ming Yang Yang. Nope, me neither, but he's 24, Swiss, born to a Chinese father, and once went out on loan to a team you've probably never heard of either. 
Yang played for FC Yamira of Spain in the 2018-19 season, a club from Mercia who were playing in the lower leagues. Either way, he's now back at Wolves, kind of just waiting for his contract to expire. So that's one player from each Premier League club who's had a really weird loan spell. Let us know of any more in the comments below. Thanks for watching and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.